Hey, hi there. So, lots of updates this week. Uh, I really needed to record this video because we have some major changes here and uh, those will be really nice for us. So the first one, uh, this one was made by Johan Johansson from the Unity team itself. Uh, so he managed to integrate the Mechanin API for uh, creating the avatars dynamically. So what we have now is actually if I change the avatar size or the arm size like this, we get this guy running. You can notice that uh, he's actually able to run faster than the rest of the guys. This is simply because his leg is bigger so the root motion is now uh, working uh, fully functional and working and uh, also it's now possible to use the mechanic inverse kinematics because the avatar uh, skeleton is actually being calculated for each of those so we, we have unique uh, skeleton uh, so this is also very good for, perform for performance because uh, before, before this I had to, on late update, uh, get the, some of those bones that received changes from the animation itself. I had to uh, get the values from rotation, uh, position and scale and uh, get those values back on late update after the animation. So this uh, gave an extra uh, performance hit and now with this, uh, this change there is no need to do this on late update so we have better performance now. This uh, frame height here uh, actually is just because I'm recording this and this is not a a very powerful machine, I think you're going to get much better performance. So guys, uh, I suggest you thanking a lot Johan uh, for this update. He made an amazing job here and uh, in fact he helped a lot in the whole project all the time. So again, Johan, <laughs> thank you guys. Uh, so the next update uh, first thing I need to show you uh, here on preferences. This is uh, slightly different on uh, Windows. But we have this option here, compress asset on import. Actually, if you uh, change the texture compression, uh, if you don't have this set, the compression will only take effect while building the project, so you need to keep this in mind for the following steps I'm going to show. So uh, probably some of you guys uh, have been uh, trying to use Yuma on other uh, computers and in those cases uh, you're probably going to have, uh, in the past, past you probably had uh, problems with memory that's because uh, all uh, textures that uh, I provide for the project are really high resolution. So if I take a look here on, uh, for example, the body, it's a 2K texture. And uh, while comp compressing, this texture is taking uh, 3 megabytes. But uh, if it's not, um, not compressing, it takes more than 10 megabytes. So here we have 70 uh, textures, 70 overlays. So you can imagine the amount of memory that is being used here. So to, take an, uh, to have an idea, I will get here in Profiler and uh, Memory. And I'm simply going to take a, a sample. So we can see here the amount of memory being used. So actually, right now, with all the textures uh, compressed, 
we have uh, 240 uh, megabytes uh, specifically on textures as you can see here uh, and in fact uh, before this with all of those textures uncompressed we had we had a uh, one gigabyte only on those textures yes that's uh, probably for the given a heart attack most guys a lot of memory being used in here so uh, what we have here uh, what we have now is your own overlay library uh, I've implemented a way to easily change uh, all of the overlays uh, with some simple uh, clicks here so first uh, let me change this I'm actually going to not use compression and uh, set read uh, readable uh, tag for all of the, those textures keep in mind this is going to change the textures on the library itself not all of the textures of the projects so this is really important so I'm going to hit apply uh, it's going to take a while and uh, I'll get back as soon as this is done okay so uh, now if I take a look here uh, on the textures you can see that they are uh, not compressed so uh, I use the automatic true color if they are not compressed this is valid for all textures that were there so and uh, now if I take a look here on the memory let's see how bad it can be here yes as you can see we have almost one gigabyte here and uh, this is really really bad you can see here uh, almost uh, 50 megabytes for this texture here so this is crazy no one is going to use this uh, on the, this amount of uh, resolution and this specific situation here with everything uncompressed but I had to show you this and uh, now what I'm going to do first I'm going to actually uh, reduce the resolution of all of those textures so when I click here uh, all uh, the textures will be uh, reduced uh, so in this case instead of uh, 2048 to be uh, 1024 um, this will already help a lot of when considering the memory usage so that's what I'm going to do now uh, so get here and click here also important uh, you can see here for example here on the eyebrow the eyebrows are uh, a cropped texture so we have those those rect values here to actually fit this cropped texture together with the female uh, head texture so when I use this I actually at the same time already update those values correctly so this is uh, saving a lot of time for us so okay so now uh, I've reduced the resolution let's take a look here on the texture okay no it's half the size on each dimension and now it's using four megabytes so let's see the profiler uh, memory here see how how it's working now okay so well instead of uh, the almost one gigabyte now we have uh, 250 megabytes that's already uh, a big change now I'm still not happy so uh, as you can see those textures are still not compressed let's try to compress those textures also so I'm going to hit here the uh, compress textures uh, checkbox 
let me uh, leave this one uh, and check it. This is, uh, as I've said uh, sometimes, uh, uh, readable flag is important if you're using the ng uh, license. So in this case, I'm going to keep this one and check it and hit play. Okay, uh, so now let me take a look. Looks like now the those textures are all compressed. So oh, really nice. So instead of uh, four megabytes, we have no less than one megabytes. And uh, let me just be sure here if uh, we already have the updated uh, results here. So. Really nice. Uh, instead of the 20, 250, we now have only 60 megabytes for those uh, 70 textures. So it, it looks quite good already. But uh, I'm still not happy. Uh, there are still, uh, it's still possible to have better results. You see, it's still using uh, 1K here for the for the this body texture, and uh, actually what I would like to do is I'm going to use the Atlas resolution as one, so full resolution. Uh, as you can you can see now, if I run this, uh, everything's working fine. And if I select one of those and take a look here. Uh, it's um, you can see the it's 2k on the height. So let me try to reduce this even more. Um, so I'm actually going to reduce the the resolution uh, one further step. So I will click here. Okay. So now. Uh, it's already reduced resolution one more time. If we take a look here, we have now uh, 512, and uh, it's using less than 200 kilobytes, way better than the, what we have when we started this. So let's see here on the profiler uh, how much memory is being used by those 70 textures. Uh, well, less than 15 megabytes, no, I'm quite happy. Uh, you can see here uh, each of the textures that are being used. But, uh, well, while I'm happy with those uh, values here, uh, there is still a lot of space to optimize this, especially because all of those textures are uh, on memory all the time uh, because uh, the overlay library is referencing all of those here. So this uh, works for small projects with not many uh, assets, but uh, it's clear that if you're working on a massive multiplayer game or something more complex or with a lot of assets, or possible combinations. Uh, it's really important uh, work with, working with asset bundles or uh, at least loading and unloading the, the assets at runtime. This will uh, save a lot of memory and uh, a, lot of, a lot of headaches also. So keep that in mind uh, if you're planning a big project using Yuma. And, uh, let me just run this one more time to show the result in Atlas here. Okay, so now it's 1K uh, and it's still quite nice. I mean, the, the, this resolution is still enough for many games. So uh, I have uh, a lot of possibilities using this, uh, this adjust uh, for 
have a different uh, level of quality for your project and at the same time handle uh, memory at some level. So I hope this is useful for you on your projects and uh, see you in the following videos. Goodbye. See ya.